So Becky, today we wanted to talk about how to preserve your wedding dress on your own. A wedding dress is such an iconic piece for a bride. It's like they put all their energy and time and focus in it for the wedding, but then the next day it ends up in a box or in the closet. So I just wanted to pick your brain on some best practices of preserving your own wedding dress. Sure. So first thing with your wedding dress is to get it cleaned as soon as you can after the wedding. Um, if you're heading out of town, maybe see if someone else can drop it off at a trusted dry cleaners. It's really not recommended that you try and wash it yourself. Most people's wedding dresses are not made of your typical cotton or synthetic fabrics. They sometimes have embellishments like this one has all these little pearls stitched on and lace. And if you tried to wash this in your washing machine, you would destroy it. So you really wanna make sure you get it into the hands of a professional dry cleaner. And the sooner the better, because as we know, when you're at your wedding, all sorts of things end up on your dress. Oh yes. Dirt on the bottom <laughs> hem, some small child has probably stepped on it, um, mm -hmm. maybe even some ketchup soaked hands, who knows? Yes. So the sooner you get it to the dry cleaners, then they can treat those stains and hopefully they won't set in on the dress as they have on this one. Okay, yeah, and we actually borrowed this from Ohio Thrift, so uh, I don't have any idea of the, the background of this dress, but just kind of looking at it, what types of initial things besides the cleaning would you think would need to be done for this dress to get it preserved as soon as possible? Clearly this has just been hung on a hanger and probably tucked in a closet somewhere, so the top part is in fairly good condition, but you can see all of the wrinkles that are in the skirt and in the train. Mm -hmm. So uh, getting your dress into a great storage situation will help prevent those wrinkles from forming, especially if you've just paid to have it clean at the dry cleaners. You don't want to then put it somewhere where it's just gonna get wrinkled again because typically the dry cleaners will also press it for you. Perfect, now you have some things over here I think that are, are ways that you could preserve it. So why don't you walk us through some of these things that you use to preserve the wedding dress? Sure. Well, depending on the type of space you have, there's two different ways to store a wedding dress. One is on a hanger, and if you do want to hang it, we recommend that you use padded hangers like you see up front there. Right. It's just a regular hanger, and then we've wrapped it in foam and then created this nice cotton muslin casing for it. And so this will just keep the wedding dress from getting any of those nasty little hanger marks right, in the shoulders. Right, that makes sense. Now, if your dress has a, if it's longer, if it has a lot of weight to the skirt, if it has a long train, when you wear the dress, your hips and waist support that weight. But when you put it on a hanger, all of that weight is going to be in the shoulders, which is going to cause it to stretch. It can cause damage, it can cause it to become misshapen. So if you do want to hang it, you want to provide extra support for the skirt and the train. Uh, the best thing to use, this is called fabric tape. You can buy it at most stores. It's okay. just a cotton tape, right. like a, almost like a twill tape. And essentially what you want to do is create suspenders for your skirt. You double over the tape, figure out how long it needs to be so that you can stitch it right into the hemline and it'll go up over the hanger and it'll support the weight of that skirt. You want to put two in there, one on each side seam. Perfect. And now uh, over here, I, I actually have my wedding dress that I got mm -hmm. preserved years ago. And so I sent it in, they professionally did it, they locked it up in this box. But when you do it on your own, how do you do that? Because I don't have that technology at home. <laughs> right, right. So uh, the best thing to do is to get an acid-free box for it. These okay. are textile boxes. You can get them from a number of different places. When you go to put the dress, especially a dress like this one, into a textile box, what you really want to make sure you do is fold it very carefully and then try and prevent those folds from becoming permanent creases like oh, we have here. You can see a right. big permanent crease here. Okay. So the key is to lay the dress out flat and then as you fold, use acid-free tissue paper, which usually comes with these boxes. So you just take the tissue paper and just crumple it. So I can do that. <laughs> Lay it right down where you're going to fold the dress and simply fold the dress over oh, top of the tissue paper. And what it does is it keeps that from creating a permanent crease. Now, where do you store the box? You want to keep it away from moisture. These are not waterproof um, and they are they do allow air in, so they're breathable. It allows the fabric to breathe, which helps to preserve it. Um, but it does mean it's susceptible to water, to pests. Mm -hmm. So um, really under your bed, uh, up tall in a closet, just really not in a basement, not in an attic, not in a garage, not anywhere you might get pests or water leaks and things like that. 
So not in a plastic bin though, right? Not in a plastic bin. So those plastic bins where you seal the top on, they do tend to keep the pests out, but plastic is a synthetic material and it off gases. I don't know if you've ever opened a plastic bin and noticed that mm -hmm. smell. That's the off gassing. It will actually interact with the fibers of the fabric and it can cause damage. It can cause them to become weak. It can cause them to become discolored. Um, a good alternative to uh, an acid-free box is um, a cedar chest or a hope chest. Okay. Just just again, line it with acid-free tissue so that it's not right up against the wood, but just even something like that to help protect it and something that's breathable is a great way to store it. And, and even the preserving the dress goes beyond the physicality of preserving it. It's also preserving the legacy of the story of the dress. So talk a little bit about that. It's really helpful if you can preserve the story that goes along with your wedding dress. Think back about, um, you know, is there a story about um, when you bought it or the day that you wore it? Write all of that down. Write down who wore it, where you bought it, when you bought it, where you got married. Have some pictures printed out with it and just keep it in an envelope in the box with the dress. So that way it never gets separated from it and down the road you have that actual story and you have the story from the person who wore it, which is even better. That's such a lovely idea. It makes me want to go home right now and write all that information down. Becky, this has been very helpful. I'm sure you get a lot of questions about preserving a wedding dress, so I hope that people take this task on for themselves, so thanks again. Oh, it was my pleasure.